Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you our custom LEGO Star Wars minifigure series. So today I will be showing you our custom LEGO Star Wars minifigure series. This is based on how we think LEGO would do it if they ever did a LEGO Star Wars minifigure series. Um, this has people from all of the movies and the TV shows, one person from each I believe. Except for, I think, we did two from The Mandalorian and took away one from The um, Empire Strikes Back because LEGO has done practically every figure from there. We also decided not to do a figure from the Resistance TV show as well. So, we hope you enjoy this video, and now to the figures. So, our first figure we have, which is from The Phantom Menace, is Shmi Skywalker. She would go really well with Anakin Skywalker from the film, and she would have a unique hairpiece with the braid going off to the side, as you can see in the picture. She would also come with a dress piece, which would have unique printing to show the ruffles in her dress. She would be a great figure for Star Wars Lego Star Wars collectible minifigure series, and we are surprised Lego has not made her yet. Now, the figure we chose from Attack of the Clones was Lama Su. He is a leader of the Kaminoans, and he would be really cool for LEGO to make um, to work on the clones. It is very sad LEGO has not made any Kaminoans yet, and he would be cool with a molded headpiece that would be super tall with his neck thing as well connected to it so his would be more unique than other Kaminoans if Lego made some. He would also come with a dress printed dress piece and unique printing to make him look super cool as a very unique figure in a Lego Star Wars minifigure series. Our next figure is Mass Amida. He is from the Revenge of the Sith and he serves Palpatine. He would be a really cool figure to get to serve Palpatine and would have so many cool parts. He would come with a really cool uh, molded headpiece, kind of like Ahsoka's headpiece, and a normal head underneath. He would also have a custom shoulder piece, which would look really cool as well. Um, he would have one of those um, dress skirt pieces as well, so that he would have his long skirt or robes. And overall, he would be a really cool figure for LEGO to make in a LEGO Star Wars collectible minifigure series. So our next figure in our custom series is a firefighter battle droid. This is from the Clone Wars and would be really cool for LEGO to make. This would be um, pretty much the same as a battle droid except for have a unique print in the specific battle droid colors of gray plus yellow and the red head. This would be uh, great for mods and would hopefully come with a cool backpack design as well as a hose with his minifigure. This would be a great figure to make for their Lego Star Wars minifigure series. Our next figure is Governor Price from Star Wars Rebels. She would be a really cool figure to get, especially to go with Grand Admiral Thrawn and your Imperial Army. She would have a normal um, Imperial body and would have dual molded legs with black boots. She would also have a unique head, which would be super cool, as well as a unique hairpiece, which would be like the hairpiece for Naya from Ninjago, except for it would have some little pointy things sticking out of the top. She would be a great figure to strategize against the rebels. The figure we think Lego should make in a minifigure series from A New Hope is Ghost Obi-Wan. It is cool how Obi-Wan, once he dies, he uh, becomes a ghost through the Force, and he helps Luke in his path to becoming a Jedi. And this would be a super cool figure for Lego to make. It would pretty much be like their Obi-Wan they have made in the past, but they would add a uh, translucent blue tint to him, which would make him look super cool. This would be a great and very unique figure. So our next figure is Endor Luke from Return of the Jedi. Lego has not made one of these figures ever since they made one with a yellow head, so it has been quite a long time. The very coolest part of this figure for the minifigure series would be his poncho 
because that is a very unique piece and would be really great to get. He would also come with a classic Luke head and an Endor helmet. He would also have the same body as Endor Luke's we have seen recently with one black hand and one skin color hand. Um, he would be a great figure for Lego to remake. Our next minifigure in our minifigure series is Dr. Pershing. He is from the Mandalorian and would be a really cool figure for Lego to make. He does experimental work on Baby Yoda, so it would be cool if he came with Baby Yoda as well as himself and maybe some sort of tool. He would have some a nice probably Lego City hairpiece and unique printed head and body and legs. He would be a super cool figure and would work well with hopefully the upcoming Moff Gideon's Cruiser. Our second figure from the Mandalorian for this series is Queel. He is quite a main character in season one of the Mandalorian and he would be really cool for Lego to make. He would have a, a molded head where um, his hat and goggles would be molded into the head which would be really unique. He would also come with medium legs, which would make him more accurate to the show. He would be a great figure for Lego to make, and would help the Mandalorian and Grogu survive. The figure we chose for The Forced Awakens was Elo Asti. He is a Resistance pilot who is an alien, which would make him more unique than just a regular Resistance pilot. He would have a really cool molded head, which would either come with the helmet around his head or have the helmet as an extra piece. He would pretty much have a normal resistance pilot body and he would come with a blaster. He would be a really cool figure to get as he would have a re really unique molded head. For our last Jedi figure, we chose Broom Boy, AKA Dimitri Blag, who is featured at the end of The Last Jedi. He would be a nice figure to get, as he would have a custom hat with um, hair sticking out, which would look super cool. He would also have a catapult with him, and um, very nice short legs, and he would have a very cool printed torso. And of course, he would come with a broom. And for our final figure, which is actually two figures in one, it is C-3PO with his red eyes and Babo Frick. This is from the Rise of Skywalker, where they have to get the Sith translation out of C-3PO. It would be a unique C-3PO design with red eyes, as well as they would hopefully do some arm printing and side leg printing for C-3PO to make him extra special. They would also make a Babo figure, which would be a similar size to a Baby Yoda figure. He would also come with some tools and hopefully a workbench too. These would both be some very interesting figures to get in a Lego Star Wars minifigure series. So those were our drawings of what we think Lego should make as a Lego Star Wars minifigure series. Also, we wanna say thank you very, 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 very much to Hoodies and Whiskey and Little Chicken for donating on our live streams. We um, appreciate it so much. We are planning to have many more live streams in the future, so we hope you can join us. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe. We have many other videos like this on our channel, such as 10 Phase 2 Clones Lego Should Make. So you can check that out in the cards and the description below if you want to see it. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope to see you next time on Sanders 3 Lego. Bye.